Hi, I'm Mark Smith. I'm with Macroscopic Solutions, and this is the setup tutorial for the Macropod Pro imaging system. I'm going to start with the, uh, the tripod that comes with the system. This is a really right stuff tripod mounted with some different uh, machine parts. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extend this front leg, the one that's directly opposite where your, your camera riser is going to sit. And you're going to extend that to a 90 degree position. These legs back here will lock out at 30, 60, and 90. You want to take it to the 60 degree position and this leg over here in the 60 degree position. Then this leg that's been extended out to 90, you want to extend that until it's fully out. And that's your base, the Macropod Pro system that's going to be housing everything together. So we'll set that down. The next thing you want to do is take this adapter clamp and these two screws, the two long screws. The adapter clamp is going to be situated right on top of that arm where you extended the leg and the screws are going to come up right through the bottom and you're going to bolt that adapter plate onto the lower leg that's been extended to 90 degrees. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your stage. Now this stage can accommodate different stages. Uh, with the Pro system you also receive an automated rotary stage by Cognosys that allows you to complete 3D models uh, using photogrammetry. And basically this stage, these four screws here will come out and that rotary stage will come in and that will be covered in another video uh, in the near future. What you're going to do is you're going to take this face. And where the stage is facing you, that's the part that's going to be facing the camera. That's going to be situated right into the adapter clamp. So you're going to loosen it, and then you're going to tighten it so that that stage sits firmly in that adapter plate. Now, when you're shooting, if you need more working distance and you have to move this stage up and down the, the tripod leg, instead of actually moving the motor forward and backwards, you could just loosen this clamp here and you can slide the, the actual stage to and from the camera. It's always good to start with it kind of in the middle, just where you are. Uh, it's a good, good starting position. The next thing we're going to do, you do get a variety of lenses with this system, but um, we're going to start with the most, most used, which is the MPE 65mm. There's an adapter plate on the bottom that is going to marry to this adapter plate that's situated on top of the camera riser. You're going to go ahead and you're going to lock that lens into the, in the place the exact same way we lock the stage into place down there just by tightening the clamp on that adapter. And now you have everything in a really ideal position for micro and macro photography. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our camera body and we're going to mount the camera body directly to that lens. You're going to remove the dust caps. You want to be as fast with this as, as possible. You don't want dust getting onto the camera sensor, especially with micro-macro photography where it will show up in your final photographs. The next thing you're going to do is mount the speed light flash. This is going to slide directly into the flash mount on top of the camera body. And you're going to tighten it just by sliding that knob to the left. And then you're going to take these two flash heads, uh, to which we've already added these machine adapter plates for you. You're just going to take out the little screw and you're going to mount those directly to the side arms that's situated underneath the stage. And this is what we consider to be a really ideal position for the flash heads because what we can do is cancel any direct light that's going to come from them just by putting a, a few pieces of foam on either side here and then, um, then adding our diffuser to the lens, which I'll show you in a second. You're going to do the same thing to the other side. You're going to take this flash head, remove that little screw, and you're going to situate that onto the side arm as well. Go ahead and tighten that. And you can kind of aim these two flash heads towards the, the front of the lens. The reason for that is because we're going to take this diffuser which we make. This is specifically for the MPE 65mm. You're going to remove the front lens cap and you're going to mount that just by pressing and giving a slight turn. And that, that's on there pretty rugged and pretty sturdy. The next thing you're going to do is take your controller and you're going to just set it right next to the system and we're going to start to hook everything up via the cables. Now, because I shoot macro and micro photography quite frequently, there's a few cables I already have. 
um, hooked up. One is a USB cable to the computer, to the camera, which I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll plug that in now. The next is a battery pack, which is plugged it directly into the wall, so I do not need to rely on batteries. Uh, I can just take this battery pack, slide it in where the battery slot goes, and there's a little rubber door over here where the cable is just going to stick out, and then you're going to close that up. The next thing you're going to do, this is the power cable to the, the StackShot's computer. You're just going to go ahead and power that on by plugging that in and, and pressing, pressing this button over here, which powers on the StackShot. The next thing we're going to do is take a motor cable. This allows us to control the servo back here with the, the computer controller. So we're going to plug that into the X port. And then we're going to go ahead and, and mount that directly over here. And the only other cable that we need is for this controller box to control the camera shutter. So there's this is a, um, a camera shutter cable that's specifically made for these Canon bodies. Uh, but they vary among uh, supplier, body, um, and manufacturer. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug that in. This, this gets situated in here so that the cable is coming out in the direction that the lens is situated. And you'll go ahead and press firmly on the back of that to make sure that that's it. And in order to get yourself prepared for the software segment uh, of this tutorial, You'll want to have a folder on your desktop somewhere where you're going to be storing the images. I use Active 2D, and then <clears throat> within Active, I create a new folder of whatever it is I'm going to be shooting. And pretty soon, I'm going to be shooting um, 3D printer parts, so I'll just call this 3D printer brass <clears throat> extruder from Maker Gear M4. And I'll go ahead and I'll hit Enter. So now I've got that folder there. Now what I want to do is open up EOS Utility, and when you open this, you want to make sure that you have your camera turned on, and then it'll connect directly through. So the software is already open. I want to first go here, and I want to click Browse. I want to navigate back to that active folder where I just made my new my new part. So right here is that fold that folder I just made, 3D printer, brass extruder for me. I want to click that, open, OK. So I just told the software. Uh, that whenever I take a picture, that's where that cam that's where I want that picture to end up is in that folder. And the next thing you can you can do in the meantime to get set up is just open your Zerine Stacker software program. Uh, this way, uh, it'll be ready to go with the second you've taken your first photograph. Um, and that's it. Now you're set up. Everything's set up and good to go. And then tune in for the next uh, instructional video in order for me to tell you. Uh, or at least guide you on how to take a good photograph uh, with the Macropod Pro system. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me, and uh, have fun using your Macropod Pro.